All right, I'm showing you guys uh, my computer before overclocking. Here it is, the clock speed that it happens to be showing. And I will boot it, reboot it and put it in the BIOS and show you guys that. Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to overclock the Intel 7820 using the Sager 8157. I'll show you three different ways. So you go to the advanced menu. Enter OK for this overclocking performance menu. Hit enter. Then these this is the for the multiplier, core multiplier. It's times 100 megahertz. I'll just hit 44, 44, 44, 44. I'll just leave the rest alone. Hit escape. Enter, save changes, and reset. Okay, let's okay, let's take a look at this. CPU Z boop, boop, boop. This steam thing really slows down the computer seems like. But you can see here my multiplier can vary between 8 and 44 and it's going up almost and yeah, it's, it's fluctuating to almost uh, 3.9 gigahertz okay I'm going to show you guys another way to overclock you need to open the control panel well control center application right here Click on gaming. Click on the CPU memory overclocking. Enter yes. It's already overclocked to 4 gigahertz. I will now overclock it to 4.4 gigahertz. Click on the CPU right here. I'll just go to core number 4. Raise it to 44. When you raise core number 4, it will raise the other cores for you. So just, I mess with core number 4. And go down here, save. Enter OK. And you can see, now see that the max is 4.4 .4 gigahertz. I tried 4.5 and it sometimes freezes, so 4.4 uh, 4 is about the fastest you'll get on this. And I haven't messed with it, but if you want to mess with the memory, you could do this. Yeah, I'm not going to mess with it. But, uh, some other options when you overclock is can change the catch ratio, power limits, stuff like that. I haven't had a need to mess with that. Alright, push save, I'll quit. Quit. And you can see now I'm at about 4.4 .4 gigahertz. Okay, I'll show you guys one more way to overclock. Just download the Intel Extreme Tuning Utility right here. You can just do a Google search for that and you'll find it. Click yes. Okay. 
Hmm. Not sure why that popped up. Really, you just need to click on the basic tuning right here. You could take a look at all my specs here if you want. Just click on basic tuning. I agree. It's already overclocked to 4.4 gigahertz. So let me change it to 4 for you guys. I have not messed with this at all. So I, I tried it one time to increase it and it kind of gave my computer some hiccups. So I don't mess with it. Click apply. I can just go exit. Now right here you'll see my PC is running at about 4 gigahertz. But in the BIOS, I have it set to 4.4 gigahertz. So when you overclock in a BIOS, it's kind of worthless because the software will overwrite it. I'll show you that. Okay, so. Let's say you go in the BIOS and you overclock it. Oh, it it won't really overclock if this software is telling it to not overclock. So, overclocking in the BIOS and you have this software, it's kind of pointless to overclock in the BIOS. Uh, well, that's about all I have. For that, and in this computer, you can overclock the CPU. I mean, the GPU. Uh, I just have not messed with this much. I haven't played any games or anything yet, so. But there's your options. I don't want to mess with that. But that's if you want to mess with the GPU, you can do that right here. I'll show you the fan speeds. It's pretty loud right now. Put to automatic. Usually it quiets down if it's not overclocked. Click on maximum. Here it gets very loud. Go to custom. It's very quiet now. Uh, you could custom set the fans right there. That uh, is about it that I'll show you right now. Alright, adios.